There's a push for bipartisan support in 2018. I want to bring in former press secretary uh, for Vice President Mike Pence, Mark Lauder. All right, Mark, uh, taxes done, check mark there, but there's still plenty left to do. And really, to be quite honest with you, only a short time to do it. So let's let's walk through some of these things. First of all, immigration, uh, some sort of immigration deal, particularly with, with DACA. Can that happen? Will it happen? Well, I know it's the president's uh, hope and desire to have it happen. I know you have a lot of people on the Hill. The one big question is, are Democrats going to come to the table and actually show a willingness to work with the administration? You just you had a, a senator over the weekend, a Democratic leader uh, last weekend going on one of the Sunday shows saying they want DACA, but they're not willing to do anything about the wall and border security. Uh, that is on the president's agenda. So you have to learn to compromise. You're going to have to have a little bit of both. There's a deal to be had. The president wants to make a deal. He right. wants to protect the dreamers. Well, one thing, though, that we do know is that there are a lot of Republicans, particularly the, what you would, people would call the establishment types, who would like to see the dreamers stay here. And so how does that change the, the, the negotiation equilibrium, if you will? That, uh, how does that impact the uh, potential outcome? I think you see a lot of lawmakers, including the president, saying they want to do something to protect the dreamers. They want to do it in a way that is legal, not just through executive action, which was found to be uh, you know, legally questionable under the previous administration. So there's a deal to be had. Will Democrats come to the table? Will they work with the president and provide border security, which we also need to address? I know the previous administration looked the other way while terrorists were bringing cocaine into our country, but this is an administration that's focused on protecting our neighborhoods right. and protecting our cities, and the president is very serious about having strong border security, including a wall. Mark, let me ask you about Obamacare. The individual mandate is out, but almost 9 million people signed up for Obamacare. Uh, Democrats admit it must be fixed, however. Uh, is there any sort of bipartisan agreement to, to, to address that issue? That, that one's going to be a little bit more difficult. You, do, you started to see a little bit of bipartisan support coming together under uh, the Graham-Cassidy bill, and there is a lot of support there in Republicans to do that, which would break, basically block grant the money back to the states, let states make the decision, and let them tailor the health care programs that best fit the needs of their populations. Right. It shouldn't I, be a mandate coming down from Washington. I don't think states state. mind making the decisions, but a lot of them would like uh, Washington, D.C. to keep cutting the checks, though. Let's talk about infrastructure for a moment, because that seems to be at the top of the docket going into into the new year one trillion dollars in a combination that includes federal money perhaps two or three hundred billion dollars state and local money in the private sector some say that this is the magic elixir to not only get it done but to raise the kind of money that makes it work what do you see it is absolutely the right formula where I am in Indiana, where I'm from. Uh, we had a, a governor, or the previous governor actually did that, worked with the private sector, got $4 billion in the state of Indiana to put into the roads and in our bridges and airports. So it can be done. The president's a builder. He knows these things mean jobs. So it's going to be very important. I think we can get Democrats on board. It's just going to be a question of finding the funding for it and finding the right mix of public, private, state, local, federal. Real quick, though, there are political operatives who say the Democrats... Uh, because this would be seen as a major victory for the Trump White House, will push back against this no matter, just despite the rhetoric and despite being on the record for saying they want infrastructure, will not go with it no matter how great the deal is. It's unfortunate, and we do see a lot of that. You see Democrats out right now trashing the economy and really cheering against America in, in hopes of winning an election. That's not the way you win elections, and that's not way, the way you make our country greater. Let's work together. Let's get things done like infrastructure where we agree. Let's do things on, on immigration. Let's do things to make the economy great again. The president wants a deal. He right. wants to work with you. Will you come to the table? Well, I think the, I think the, America, the, the Americans are, are clamoring for all of that to happen, so I hope you're right. Mark Lauder, thank you very much. Thanks, Charles.